Welcome, everyone, to another edition of the Ryan and Rush Show. On today's episode, the Big 12 Baseball Tournament starts tomorrow, and West Virginia takes on Texas Tech. All ahead on the Ryan and Rush Show. And we welcome you back to your source for West Virginia sports. I'm Rambling Rush. He's Moneyline Mac. We are the Ryan and Rush Show. And we're getting right into it with the DC Sports Messiah slash Big 12 guru, Troy Tuning, joining us from Walter Sports Bar in DC right before the Nationals game. Troy, how are you doing? Pretty good now. <laughs> so we're here at Walter's, you know, one of my favorite spots to go to. But uh, I'm kind of already in the baseball kick, you know couple of months of major leagues already in the books we got uh our favorite d2 school rollins they were mm -hmm. able to upset the number one seed tampa at tampa so they get to host the super now and uh we'll see if they can get to carry for two straight years and on that note we're we're really hoping west virginia gets a chance to at least win two tournament games here and, and maybe host a regional yeah, you're absolutely right, uh, Troy. And welcome back to the show, Big 12 Guru, the OG of Big 12 play. Uh, yeah, no, the Mountaineers got their work cut out for them heading into Arlington. Last weekend was kind of a setback and swept by Texas in uh, Austin. But, hey, there's still an opportunity to host a regional. I don't think the Super Regional is on the table. But, hey, the regional is still very much in play. Yeah, it was definitely kind of a sour end to the to the regular season, but kind of to take a step back and bring everyone up to date, um, right? Going into this season, we were projected six in the Big 12, which is six out of nine because Iowa State doesn't have a baseball team. Nice. So already, <laughs> already outperforming expectations. Um, I think what really hurts, Ryan, is kind of talking about going through this schedule and maybe where things got a little tough. Obviously, and maybe this is good news for us as well. Obviously, getting swept by Texas at the end of the season, um, you know, it was hurt, but a lot to hold our heads on. We'll go over the awards the West Virginia baseball team won here in a second. But I really kind of want to turn to something interesting in the schedule that I notice. Um, kind of going back to to early April is after we came off the Marshall win, we had Kansas in Morgantown, and that was a series that we lost. Uh, two out of three, unfortunately, won uh, the last game on Sunday and then lost again to Penn State. So we had three out of four losses there. And then from there, we kind of turned it around, right? We ended up winning two out of three from Oklahoma State. We got our pit win, swept TCU, who was projected to win the Big 12 mm -hmm. this year. And then that's when we went on our run. So Ryan and Troy, this tells me two things. Number one is, unfortunately, we needed the one more win to be the sole Big 12 regular season champs. Probably that Kansas series is the one that really hurts us, especially with Kansas being the eighth seed. And but can I can I also chime in here? Absolutely, Can, Troy. Kansas went. Um, if I think I'm right, Kansas went eight and seventeen on the road this year. So two of those eight wins were in Morgantown, which is yes. it's not, not great. No, it's not great. But the good news side of it is. Right. That was probably one of the hardest skids. I mean, there was kind of the opening day, you know, opening part of the season where there were a couple losses. But, you know, that's that's the start of the season. People are figuring things out. Um, but to show that bounce from that. So, you know, looking at it both ways is, yes, it would have been nice to win the Big 12 regular season championship. But if you turn it around here in Big 12 play, start hosting a regional. Hey, even hosting a super regional. No one's going to care that you shared the Big 12 regular season that's not going to matter at the end of the day. So this is a good opportunity to, to set things straight and, and get right back on the path. And I, I would say I'll put my basketball cap on here. Like every season is its new season. You go through the non-con, which they did in February before the weather turns warm. And then you, you play your, uh, boy, since there's only nine teams, there's eight big 12 series. Mm -hmm. That's your own season. Then the postseason is a whole new season. So what happened in Austin's in the past, it doesn't matter at this point. You have a chance to still host the regional, and it's a new season, and the postseason is going to be a fun season, hopefully, for the Mountaineers. Yeah, and even though it kind of stunk, if there was going to be a weekend where you had to pick, like going into the month of May, if there was any weekend that you weren't going to show up on, anything before tomorrow would have been acceptable. So you can just kind of, you know, even just a win tomorrow pretty much – 
it's already in the rearview mirror, but that really, you really helped the team move on from that. Well, and how many times too, have we seen going, putting on the basketball cap again, we've seen in like March madness, for example, the, a team just mm -hmm. lose their conference tourney or lose the end of the regular season that was doing so well. And then, and then that loss actually is what fuels them to bring them forward. So that's another reason I was bringing up the Kansas city, Kansas series is this, this could do that. Uh, for the Mountaineers. With that being said, it was obviously a great season, regular season for the Mountaineers. Uh, I think if anyone told you before the se season, right, Ryan, is, hey, the big the Mountaineers will win a share of the Big 12, you would be like, oh, I'll take it. No problem. I will absolutely take it. And with that being said, Ryan, it just came out that Coach Maisie won Big 12 Coach of the Year, deservingly so. Weather Holt, Mr. 450, won uh, Big 12 Player of the Year, absolutely dominated. But it's not even those two that that won awards from the regular season, Ryan. I know we have some other winners. Yeah, and you don't go 39-16 and 16 overall and 15-19 and 19 in Big 12 play just with one good player and a good manager. I mean, it was a supporting cast. Baseball's a team game. Uh, we had three all Big 12 second team or all first team guys. And then for the second team, we had three more as well. And then we also had seven honorable mention uh, for the Big 12. So that kind of just speaks to the depth of the roster this year. So, yeah, I, all around the Mountaineers, well, deservingly so, uh, represented in the award ceremony. And I'm glad that they got Coach of the Year and Player of the Year because those are probably the two most coveted and spotlighted awards. I mean, with, with that many players, whether it's, you know, first team, third team, honorable mention or whatever, that's, I mean, it's, that's the whole dang roster. Pretty much. At least getting mm -hmm. some kind of like, wow, you guys played pretty well this year, especially in conference play. Something to take into account because, you know, the the double elimination tournament is – it's kind of like the NCAA tournament where, you know, you only get one game. But you don't really have to play with that edge right away. Like, if you get into a very bad situation on the first day, you don't really have to panic. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I don't want to get in a bad situation on the first day, though. Let's 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 try to let's definitely try to avoid that and get to the position where we need to get to to host a regional. Well, even yeah. even on that note, I was gonna say the first day is kind of make or break. The only two teams in the Big Twelve that need it are you know you guys and Tech going head to head, really. Yeah, I, I would absolutely say that it's the most meaningful game to start because, you know, both teams need to win for, for seeding and potentially hosting purposes. The old 3-6 matchup, that'll be tomorrow at 7.30. I think it's on ESPN, uh, ESPN Plus, a shocker. The good old <laughs> Plus coming at us uh, again. I will say this to before we kind of move into the Big 12 conversation and beyond and what the Mountaineers need to do to host regionals and super regionals. Uh, I mean, they did make it up to six in the country. And I know, you know, that was followed by a sweat from Texas, but I mean, six, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big deal. So it, you know, it, baseball, as we all know, like most sports, but especially baseball, it's a game of, of, of momentum. So you, let's, let's build some momentum in the big 12 tournament and it can turn out well nationally for us. Yeah. And I think it also speaks to like Randy Maisie, how good a coach he, obviously he wins, uh, Big 12 coach of the year and this is not his first time doing so for the Mountaineers the team that everybody remembers is 2019 with with the pitching staff led by Alex Manoa this team is different from that team this team is more of an offensive oriented team top to bottom uh we we, we read off the stats of the guys batting over 300 their OBPs and um, they're basically in the top three in every Big 12 offensive category. They kind of pieced it by committee on the pitching side of things. So it just shows you how you can win in multiple different ways in baseball. And Randy Mazie's proven that this year. He has. Absolutely. So going into the Big 12, uh, 12 conference, it starts tomorrow. Big 12 play. Um, game one will be number four TCU versus number five Kansas State. That game's at good old 9 a.m. on ESPNU. Wake up, uh, get that game on the background, especially if you work from home or have the ability to, and just keep running mm -hmm. through the day. Game two will be number one Texas versus number eight Kansas. That'll be 1230. Game three, number two Oklahoma State versus Oklahoma. Good old Bedlam to start uh, the Big 12 tournament. Uh, and game four, as we already talked about, this will be number three West Virginia versus number six Texas Tech, the, the game of the day. Uh, 730 on ESPN plus as well. You may notice that obviously we we're talking about Iowa state doesn't have a baseball team and the way they do it because Iowa state doesn't have a baseball team. Baylor was number nine. So the, the last place team doesn't get any representation 
um, in the Big 12 championship. So, gentlemen, with that being our schedule and being a double elimination tournament, what are we thinking? How, how do the Mountaineers at least – we'll start off host a regional game. Well, I guess on that note, it's probably easier for me to talk about the, the series closest to home that actually determines a lot for West Virginia is – you really hope Oklahoma State can win that first game against Oklahoma. And as a team that's probably already locked into the regional anyways, there could be, you know, a little bit of not care in the Cowboys, but they just had a, a pitcher that just came off of an injury, and he's usually a, a bullpen guy. And uh, he went like four innings with six or seven strikeouts, only gave up one run. Oklahoma State's always kind of had like a sneaky pitching staff that kind of works some guys both as starters and bullpen. And that kind of matters a lot in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that even if they if they get off to a slow start against Oklahoma or something like that, they still kind of have the arms to keep them in it. Because if Oklahoma State can win that, that game against Oklahoma, and, you know, this will carry us into whatever you guys want to talk about, but West Virginia – has to beat Tech first, but it would set them up really nice to be able to host a regional if they get matched up against Oklahoma State and can can put their first loss on them in a double elim tournament. Maybe they finish higher than the Cowboys, and maybe you know we're hanging out in Morgantown watching a regional here in a week or so. It's huh. plan. Yeah, I think Troy laid it out. I think if they outperform Oklahoma State, they're going to host a regional. I think it comes down to – I think they need to get to the finals, which means you outperform Oklahoma State. Um, I it, Right off the bat, looking at the bracket, it's cool that you get Bedlam in the quarterfinals, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Um, TCU, K-State's an intriguing matchup as well. You got to think Texas is the heavy favorite to get out of the top half of the region. I, th I think the Mountaineers – we'll, we'll give our predictions at the end, but uh, – I'll, I'll tease it. I, I I like the Mountaineers this weekend. Hello, Rambling Rush here, and we'll take you back to your episode momentarily. The Ryan and Rush Show is on its way to monetization, and we need your help. Please subscribe to our show if you haven't yet, and let your friends know all about it. The Ryan and Rush Show is your source for West Virginia sports, and our goal is to make this our full-time job and to give you the best news and analysis available. Again, that's the Ryan and Rush Show. Please subscribe today and share with all your friends. Now back to the episode. Yeah, I like the Mountaineers as well, Ryan. I mean, our series against Texas Tech to start off, we, we already talked about it, won two out of three. The next series, Oklahoma State and Oklahoma, both teams we won two out of three against. I'll play Kansas again. I'll play Texas again. I'll play any one of these teams again. We did really well in Big 12 play this year. And, you know, I don't mean to keep bringing it up, but we'll get this past series out of our our, our heads. We'll we'll move on. We're Quick turnaround. Good time to move on in baseball. And I'll play Texas again. I'll play can't I'll play any one of these guys again. But of course, we can only take it one game at a time. So bring on Texas Tech. That'll be a great game. Go on to either Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, and then just keep riding it from there. But I I in a weird way, I think we are still in the driver's seat. West Virginia is still fine. We just, you know, just got to get the bad taste out of our mouths. That's all. But I, I'm ready to go for Big 12 play. I for the sake of you guys, I really hope that it ends up being like a West Virginia, Texas winner's bracket final. Yeah. Because, you know, it'll be on the third day of the tournament. So you'll really get to see a little bit of depth come into play, which I would say favors West Virginia. And I mean, I know that's looking ahead, but again, if they if they can beat Texas and even if it's just the winner's bracket final of the conference tournament, you're locking up a regional host for sure. And you're giving yourself a chance to win the conference tournament and then maybe think about something even bigger than hosting a regional. But mm -hmm. everyone's overlooking Texas Christian. I mean, TCU is going to win this conference tournament. That They haven't played well all year, and they tied for the regular season title in the Big 12. I, I just I think TCU is the best bat baseball team in the conference, and I don't think they've – played up to par but i would say for those two teams between west virginia and tcu there's a lot to prove and i know west virginia has already shown that they're one of the better teams but i don't think they've they've never how many times have they hosted a regional before just in 2019 
Yeah. So like, it's all very recent and it's almost like a, this wasn't a fluke. This mm -hmm. is really where the, the program's direction is going. Yeah. I think they do have a lot to prove. And I, I mean, I see them winning at least the first two games of the tournament. So that's good news for you guys. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind your TCU angle as well, Troy, because you mentioned it. They were the preseason pick. They kind of underachieved a little bit, but only two games out of first place. We sometimes see some teams that underachieve uh, a little bit in the regular season and get hot in the postseason, and kind of the reasons why they were preseason picked to be as good as they were supposed to be is because they have a lot of talent on their roster. They got good pitching. They got good bats. They just haven't put it all together. So maybe they put it all together in Arlington. I'm going to pick the Mountaineers to win it. Yes, it's a homer pick, but I also think they were the best team for the whole Big 12 season outside of three days in Austin. They were 15 and six. Rush, you mentioned it. They dropped the Kansas series. Uh, I think it was Easter weekend that what they do after that, they won five series after that in a row. They've been resilient all year. I think Randy Maisie rallies the troops. They get it done and they uh, get the revenge on Texas in the final and get it done. And they're hosting a regional come next weekend. Do you think Randy Maisie as coach of the year might be a bit of the, uh, like it goes from a 50, 50 to like a 55, 45. Like he gives you that much of an edge, especially mm -hmm with how much better they performed in conference play than expected. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if you were right. I hope, I hope West Virginia, you know, gets to host a regional. Uh, I'll come up to Morgantown and watch that shit. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, here's what I'll say about TCU is yes, they, they are a good team. They, they played not up to their potential, or at least not up to what people thought their potential was. And I do agree. There's times where, Maybe a team doesn't do as well in the regular season then turns it on for the playoffs. I think baseball is a little bit of a different sport than that. I think you kind of see that more in other sports, um, excluding your 2019 Nationals, Troy. Uh, but the thing is, maybe that is TCU's identity. My prediction, I'm not, maybe I'm being soft for this, but here's, here's my prediction. I think we're going to see Texas, West Virginia, a rematch in the winner's bracket. Winner of that game wins the Big 12. I think it comes down to that. So, winner of that wins the Big Twelve, and that is that is that is my guess. You got to give out a winner. <laughs> I guess I do have to give out a winner. I'll, you let's can't do say who's going to be in the finals. <laughs> don't, but don't, but don't do it. Oh, I'm. I will never. I will never give Texas the edge. Absolutely, go Mountaineers. Screw it. We're doing it. They were the best team this year. They did yeah. well in the Big Twelve. West Virginia's winning it all. And, and just on that uh, Nationals note, um, we were the best team in baseball for five and a half months leading into the playoffs. Yeah, yeah that's fair. So I'm talking the regular mean, season. As I'm arguing against team. myself now with my TCU pick. <laughs> but, <you> <laughs> I think we're at this point, we're all arguing against ourselves and together. But hey, that's what baseball will do. It's not it's not these like one and dones. It's 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 a marathon, not a sprint. And it'll have you guessing and playing mental games, even with yourselves covering it on a podcast. So. Anyway, gentlemen, we got ourselves a good Big 12 tournament. Starts tomorrow, 9 a.m. as we talked about. Uh, we'll have a winner crowned on Sunday. Double elimination as well coming to you from Arlington, Texas. And hopefully next week we're talking about West Virginia hosting a regional here in Morgantown where I can tell you, I would at least think the NCAA wants that. Morgantown is a hell of an atmosphere for hosting anything. So it'd be great. You got to think the away fans would want that too because there's nothing like wearing an away shirt into Morgantown when people are tailgating like you hey, you might not remember a single dang thing yeah and and, and rush we already talked about it. I'm coming up if uh they are hosting the regional so you'll be able to come see us at the Ryan and Rush show we'll be at the regional we just need to take care of business Troy this will be your first trip up for a baseball game yeah I'll come up in uh, there you, you're gonna see the tailgating in the Walmart lot there's a Walmart that's right next to the baseball field and that, that hill that we talked about that was filling up for the TCU series, that place will be packed. That's standing room only for this series. The, la the last time I was in Morgantown, I wore a uh, Buddy Heald Oklahoma jersey when he had like 42 and won the game against West Virginia. And the only reason why I remember that is because I had to watch the highlights the next day to remember what happened. <laughs> right. we, we also, too, what's next to that Walmart, as Ryan was saying, is like a W – 
medical center up there too. Yeah. So West Virginia has something about like, we got to put our sports facilities where people tailgate right next to a medical facility, like the hospital, you know, just in case you need a quick liver pump, get back out there for the seventh inning stretch, get back out there for, for halftime. So, Hey, it, imagine, it all, imagine if they sold IV bags. <laughs> Not, not, not the worst idea. idea. Not the worst <laughs> idea. Well, if you want to make money, they'll do that. So yeah. anyway, boys, got our got our West Virginia Mountaineers got their work cut out for them. We got our work cut out for us. And hey, all I can say is go Mountaineers. Day one starts tomorrow. Brand new season. Go Mountaineers. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>